Um, I just love that they're like talking. <laughs> no, it's fine. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is, or not even welcome back. Welcome to Squad Says Chill. This is the after show of Squad Says Serve, where you, the chat, now get to talk to our judges and our chefs directly to find out their thoughts and opinions on what just happened. We're going to actually introduce everyone in just a second here, and then we're going to talk to both chefs about this third and final dish. As we saw, Green Squad managed to pull out eke out just barely another victory Ooh, even one after we uh, four points even after five even oh, five, by points. five even after judge Meyer was like oh wait you know what yeah you were right on some of the scoring categories but that's fine but that's fine no. uh, so let's, we're gonna introduce uh, our, our panelists who are here starting on my left they're gonna introduce themselves of who they were or who they are what they did on served and uh, where you can find them on the, the internet uh, hi it's me Derek Sheen I uh, oh, no. made a whole bunch of undercooked uh, uh, <laughs> stuff today except for the lamb which was fucking perfect but uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah you can find me all over the country uh, go to DerekSheenRules.com for tour dates I'm a stand-up comic and you can find me at standuprecords.com. My name's Dante Barnett. Uh, it's actually I ate shitty food all day. I'm still hungry. Uh, the, I, I felt his his uh, lamb meatball was horrible. That's why he's mad. It's okay. <laughs> I, I'm a stand-up comedian. It's uh, Dante Barnett. It smelled like Duante. The T's silent. You can call me Dwayne. I don't care. Uh, find us on Broadway all over Seattle. We do comedy. Love to have a good time. I'm Myra Dietzel. I am an actor, writer, director, producer for Space Dragon Entertainment. You can find us that way on Instagram and Facebook and all that. And I also am still hungry. I was a judge. And, um, <laughs> yeah, these dishes were quite interesting. <laughs> this is the first the time. We're gonna, well, sorry, sorry, let's cut you off. This is the first time, I think, that our judges have ever left the show still hungry. Oh, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 this is that's real, awesome. really yeah. interesting. Right. Uh, Let me be honest. I wouldn't have uh, filled up on my dishes either. <laughs> yeah. Just take a taste and then get out of here. All right, down the end there with his, uh, with his belt and IPA. <laughs> I'm Silas Lindenstein. Um, I am a, uh, I'm a, I'm a real estate agent and a comedian. I host a podcast called Black and a Half. Uh, I host that. <laughs> that there. I'm an award-winning filmmaker. I won an award for the 48-hour film uh, a competition this year. So you can check that out at Black and a Half, and I have another film dropping next next week if I finish coloring. You didn't but say anything about that. I, like, I, I never forgot any of the other times. About it. Yeah, I mainly wanted to sell houses, so that was why. Oh, okay, gotcha. No, I want to buy a house or watch a two-minute film. Gotcha. No, sounds good. And uh, you're, you're tape on comedy. Yeah. The, the, oh, oh, yeah, my and I have a CD uh, called Frozen <laughs> and Carbonite. Oh, that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that uh, mixes the music of Frozen and Star Wars together in a, <laughs> in a ballad of love. Did you say a tape? How, no, how old tape. is your This car? is the 1980s. You've got cassette tapes only. And I have a sex tape. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, my name is Ted or Ted's Friends. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ted's Friends or you can see me on Twitter at Friends of Ted. And I am the Mike Robles uh, on Twitter and on Twitch. Let's talk to Sir Chefs about this meatball dish. Uh, this, this, it was, they both made meatballs. It was ground lamb. Let's talk about this ground lamb. Uh, right over here. Uh, happy birthday, Derek. Thank you. Uh, happy birthday. I'm, enjoy your loss. Enjoy your loss. <laughs> uh, it just goes with the, it really goes with 49. No, absolutely. <laughs> to 50. If we lose the rest of this year, I feel pretty good. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> talk to me about your dish. You had, you had a lot going on. And uh, when I looked at the scores, definitely it was the airplane food. Uh, that that got you scored pretty low. Taste was closer, and uh, believe it or not, even though you hated it, you scored higher on taste than Myra did for the for the lamb. You know, I thought the taste was all right. I liked the horseradish sauce. Um, my thing was, is I just I didn't feel like it was airplane food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's where you. Lo I mean, that's yeah. No, it's which, it. which makes I we we understand. We, what were your yeah. thoughts during the, all of all of that happening? I mean, I really wanted to serve. A, uh, I knew I, I wanted to do meatballs, but I wanted to do the pasta. I was hoping to not have to do it in uh, chili verde sauce. <laughs> And beer. Which really, <laughs> really, I think. Is that, that what if, it is? If nothing else, that sort of burning? takes away from the flavor the meatball could have had by having a real <laughs> fucking disappointing sauce. So like, oh, <laughs> salsa, salsa and spaghetti. That's the thing I never thought would go together. I, I thought that. Uh, a little weird. I mean, you know, I had a couple ideas, but I think most of them would have taken up. Like, would have they would have needed more. And with the stuff that I was getting, I was kind of like, 
Let's just try and stay as basic as possible. And I hear you. here's where I think you you made the biggest mistake is you thought a lot of these were forced. Well, the only thing that was forced was the horseradish. Yeah, I thought they were all four. I, no, I, I would have told you, you have to use this. I only said you have to use the horse. Oh, no, wait a minute. Half concentrating. I I think, Derek, you've been on the show I twice the, now. I know, I know. Yeah, I, know. I, I like, think the wait. difference between the teams is he might have got better coaching and sales over there. I this did tell him. Did you not hear? I told I'm him. Saying, I well, think I know, yeah, Ted cooked half of Silas's recipe. Oh, shit. Ted made half of Silas's <laughs> recipes. We're not going to ignore that. Ted was like, you should do this. You should do this. You should do that. That's like, it, right or wrong, but if we put on the table, I did did. I was saying, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm that is true. Sure. There were a couple. Well, that was the thing. It's like I saw. So as I, I saw your face when I saw him putting the uh, maple syrup on top of those in the boiling olive oil, and I was like, I know what he wants him to do is put it on the put it on the grill with that maple sauce so that it would uh, crisp up onto it. I knew what you were thinking because you you actually looked at me and went. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's what he wants. I know that's what he wants. It was the thing was the maple syrup was cold, and I really wanted it to sure. warm up before, and I thought that would give it that get it. Yeah, I wanted to get around it. I that's wanted fair. To get around it, so that was why I was hoping. I was kind of a hope because if normally if I glazed it, I would have used a pan or an oven or <laughs> something like yeah. that. So I'm like. I'm just, you know, you're kind of just guessing on what's going to work. They like infused it is the thing. Yeah. It's not just like the texture of the outside, which definitely was more concentrated and yeah. tasted great, but it was also inside as well. I think partly because it hadn't fully, uh, it didn't make a, it hadn't uh, made a casing on the outside yet. It, yeah. hadn't, it hadn't had that. It was nice it and caramelized. Have, yeah, but, but it, it, it hadn't yet, so, so it popped in there. I really actually, I liked, like I, I think, if this, if the meatball had been served on its own, uh, the scores might have been uh, different there. Because you, uh, I think the pasta does take away from it. I oh, love yeah. the meatball, like the onion in there. Like, yeah. Real, yeah, I, mean, I was real really good. disappointed not having any onion in there. And I mean, to be, I'm glad the scoring came out how it did. But I was a little afraid. First, I was afraid I wasn't going to cook my meatball enough. And then once I cut it open, I'm like, crap, it's it's overcooked. Right. I was like, oh, it should well, be a little pink. I don't and know. I was like, um, so, but I, I, I mean, I really liked, I really liked the meatball are, that Eric did. Yeah. Are you much of a lamb guy? Do you cook with lamb very often? My no? wife hates lamb. Really? So I don't get to cook with it, but I like right. it. I like yeah. it a lot. Yep. It has so, a very yeah. distinct flavor. Yep. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. Yep. I know yeah. some people, it's almost, it almost tastes stinky. <laughs> I don't know what the word what? to describe it is. It's gamey. That, it's that gamey. gamey. Is it the gaminess that I'm thinking of? See, today was a day where I didn't eat anything I liked at all. I, no, I no, I, I get it. <laughs> like, I, I would have like wanted to use cumin. I would have used cumin. I would have really grilled it off go. so that you get that aromatic. Yeah. And so, he, so he mentioned that he said, because he had gotten the chance to get any spice, and he was like, I really want cumin for the lamb. However, then I'm stuck with cumin for a seafood dish, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. rice noodles, so why you opt for the pepper? End up getting more pepper anyways. But... <laughs> You know, we, like if he could have got soy sauce for round two, oh yeah, that would oh, that would have yeah. won you the round. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you can't make a uh, stir fry and not have any hard salt. The only thing Asian in there are the green beans and the, the bok choy, <laughs> and and the fact that I willed the word Asian into that dish. That was it. I willed it to happen. I got lucky that with the apple from before, just getting that random apple. Yeah. Right yeah. To go perfectly with lamb, um, you know. So I mean, that that was just fortune. Definitely yeah. For me, like the, the fact that your dish was so cohesive, as well as like your meatball was, like your meatball was great. I liked the onion, and I, I and I do just like the lamb, just as the way you made it. It was amazing. But the the horseradish was uh, in the in the pasta was a little oh, disjointed, mm. and yeah. um, did throw me off a little bit. And that's where my lower score came in. And I'm, I think I'm with him, easy. yeah. If they'd have been separate, you'd have gave me the pasta to eat and then the meatball, I would have ate them separately and probably gave you a higher score, but since you put the pasta, the meatball on top, I felt like I'm supposed to eat them at the same right. time. I loved the presentation of that, though. It was, yeah. No, it, was, the, it was a fun presentation. The taste of the spaghetti was a little off. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the salsa verde. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely salsa verde. We, let's not blame the horseradish. The horseradish innocent in this game. Yeah. The, the fucking salsa verde came in and swept the legs out of everything else. <laughs> yeah. Bitter, shitty salsa verde out of a jar that just was like, oh, you like spaghetti? How do you like fucking spaghetti now? And then just punched <laughs> well, the flavor out. Well, it was out. good that I asked the same, every single item he gave. I said, do I have to use that? 
Well, do I have to use I that? started right. saying that <laughs> near the end when I was like, kidney beans, fuck. And he's like, you don't have to use them. I'm like, well, well I, I did everything I told you. I was like, this is a I know, but like, I also have ADD, and so once well, I, you get me a burner, two pans, and a bunch of squid, I'm like, I don't know what to do now. I'm getting <laughs> my pants. We want to remind the chat for you guys watching at home. This is your chance to go ahead and ask questions of the judges or of the chefs about anything that just happened. If you have questions about maybe thoughts they had, ingredients they enjoyed, didn't enjoy, sabotages that really hurt or hindered or helped, uh, this is your time to go ahead and do all that. This only way. Not that this only works. This is your show. This is your time to talk to the chefs and the judges about that last hour. So please make sure you guys are typing away in chat and asking these questions. You could also ask Mike what his son's favorite food is if you wanted to. It could be things like that, too. Yeah, ask for cookie. his home address. You could actually ask for his social security number. Yeah. He'll give you that, too. He's uh, an open guy. Master Andy Wan says, did the ice hinder Derek at all? I no. think that did. No? No. Ah, no. Because there was already so much moisture coming out of that squid. Right. It was just that it didn't. All you did was just add moisture, which didn't. Yeah. You didn't ruin anything. I decided I it, not ruined to use it. it ruined just the table. It was put more stinky. <laughs> you brought more of that squid juice out, which oh, was really fuck. important to the wood table. Uh, but <laughs> but no, I mean, because I once I got there, I was like, this grill won't even grill. It's not yeah. grilling, grilling. So. I was like, I'm not going to use the bottom of the squid. Yeah. I was actually shocked that you got the ice, and yet yours ended up mushier. Yeah, no, <laughs> that, that was uh, real. You know what I there, did? So I was just funny. so, I was so worried about it burning, that I ended up taking because uh, it was too hot at one point. Mm -hmm. That I grabbed some water to throw in just to like keep it. I was like, I need some moisture, some moisture. But and then, I mean, you know, a poor carpenter blames his tools. Yeah. But I will say that uh, uh, it was it was kind of like it was rough to get anything to that that heat point where I could get anything mm. black and you know get a little char on it which would have been great with no oil or anything I'm but, surprised the panini press is usually a real high heat thing yeah. like that thing yeah. normally burns or can like really like you know cook stuff onto there you can use it as a I mean it basically is a George Foreman grill right the same but when, thing but you've got a bunch of wet soppy and holding in the moisture square that's sure just I don't mean I don't know if you there was a point I don't know if you saw even when we clean it up this whole side this yeah. whole third of the table soaked in water I was covered in we, squid water in squid yeah. water yeah we, awesome. we stopped yeah. it smelled awesome by it the way. still smells awesome lemon pledge that'll help <laughs> those are yeah. my favorite Type of like calamari to have as well as the little teeny squid, the yeah, whole oh, ones, like not those. the not yeah. the like not the like sliced up kind that we were making over there. The whole ones was the best. I was hoping to get them really charred. Yeah. The the the, the small the bottom of the squid to yeah. get them all charred because they're so great when they're just blackened and salty. It's a really mm -hmm. fun thing. But I couldn't get. I just there was not. I was not going to happen. And I was like, eh, we're going to just go ahead and abandon this. So oh, yeah. I was so <laughs> panicked about not having an oil. Like I wish I had just thrown it in without and, yeah. and gone for it. I just assumed I would have to have oil to fry yeah. it and I was kind of hoping I would get some sort of breading. I was yeah. Tough. I was like, I'll make calamari rings. So I'm like, sure. just give me something. Yeah, it's I mean, really what? tough to uh, a lot of the times the what the squads are seeing are not things that are gonna be conducive to yeah. what your dish is. And I and you know that is a part of the game. It's just like what uh. what can you give them that's even sort of but I mean I think that's also a part of the game itself is trying to, you know, ahead of time come up with some main <laughs> feature ingredients that can generally you know be applied to a lot of different things like ahi tuna we've done once or twice now yeah and you know with squid we've done once and the thing is is like with those types of ingredients ahi tuna what do you do with it you sear it yeah. you know that, that's pretty much it yeah. you serve it seared or with the squid what do you do with it you bread it and you, you yeah right yeah. yeah. it's like up to the chefs to try to come up with a way to make it interesting. I don't know if there's a way you can do that with squid besides that. Stuff it with risotto, but like you don't, you know, there you again, go. you've got something else. Yeah. You don't, you know, but. That yeah. would, but then again, there's the order. I, mean, uh, I think that it the was, it was more cooking. challenging having that as the first dish. Absolutely. Because I had so little else to use. Could you have done anything else if it was like number three? Or at least I would have had more. Yeah, I would have had oil. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got the, we got the artichoke point. Uh, the yeah. jar of artichoke hearts, which had the olive oil in it. If that had been artichoke hearts with in water, I would have I wouldn't have been able to do anything with my. No, family. that would have been it. I had no way to cook. Like I, I oh. guess I would have cooked them in beer. Yeah. Maybe. Well, there, uh, there was once we had a uh, yeah, and beer gross. We had a um, we had a judge Aaron or chef Aaron. I'm sorry, who was a chef on the show before. Oh. Couldn't get any salt the entire yes. time. Oh but my God, he got Look, this is great. He got a bag of tortilla chips. So I told him break open that bag and start using all the salt that's on the bottom of the bottom of the bag. And he actually broke it open and started rubbing the steaks 
on the Holy actual shit. bag itself yep. to get all the salt off. And it actually <laughs> it worked out great. It worked. Yeah, it was fine. He did a steak tartare with him. I was going to say, he could have crumbled up the chips and made them into a uh, coating. Oh, it's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty much it. He added a little crunch. We do, uh, we do have a question for Ooh. Silas in the chat. How do you come up with the idea of how you plated the apple the way you did? It looked fancy. Well, you know, I, I do watch a lot of cooking shows. And I do <laughs> like it. So I was like, well, okay, I need to make something symmetrical. Plop it in. I can put, maybe I'll put something, I'll put it on top of this somehow. And I just kept, I did that early on. I'm like, I just need to get this used. And then the way things were coming, I'm like, I can't think of anything to put in it. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, we'll <laughs> well, just, just leave it a little, little apple oasis on the side. Was it, symmetrical, symmetrical wasn't one of the judging things. Oh, um, just the way you played it. Just the way, yeah, he just wanted it to look pretty. nice on the plate. I, it's, presentation wasn't even part of it, is the thing. That's, that's the thing, it's like the is, category. Presentation is always yeah, part of it's, it. <laughs> it goes a long it way. Is. It goes a long it's way. Not, you though. eat with your eyes. It thinks, if you I think eat it with looks, my mouth and stomach. If Silas. you think that looks good, you are gonna have be biased right away. That's true. No, that's I think that is a fair point to make. Yeah. I mean, I like that it is apples under applesauce, which is kind of like eating a chicken breast underneath an egg. <laughs> like it's just kind of like it's oh, like thought, a big fuck you to the protein that you're eating. Like fuck you now, I've ground up your brother and I put it on top of you. What do you think of that? I thought, you, said, I thought you meant that one. So well, that's like uh, uh, katsudon. I don't know if you've had that before. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's. It's literally an egg on top of a, of a chicken, chicken or yeah. chicken and then egg underneath. You know, it's mother and child. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually what it translates oh, over to as well. So oh, sad, and calf and cow. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, I want a question for the judges before we say goodbyes. Uh, talk to me about. Yeah, I know you guys were worried a lot during during the show. What had you the most worried? Oh, um, you just raised your hands, <laughs> right. Sir Silas, all over. Well, outside the elements of what we could see you doing, <laughs> I would say for me it was probably the squid yeah. at first. Yeah. Um, just because it's such a difficult ingredient. Um, and they both came out very different <laughs> and very rubbery, <laughs> yeah. which is what my main concern was. I was concerned when this fucker almost burned the butter when that started. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... This show isn't going First good. Thing. This guy burned butter already. Oh, <laughs> threw the butter in there, just like oh, you hit the butter. That's not that hard to black butter. I know. It just it was like I thought know, it was an omen. I get you. You're black. not paying attention. It's just, this isn't a good start. Uh, <laughs> but you can't tie your shoes at the beginning of the morning. And that's already like that's kind of where the bar was. And then we got the calamari, and we had to open the window, and the smell was just up. Oh, <laughs> Great. That's that's what we do. We. Uh, we we will be back tomorrow uh, at the same channel, same time, twitch.tv slash squad says at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, go ahead and we're going to say our goodbyes. Tell the folks at home where they can find you one last time. Give your shouts to your, plug your social medias. Uh, at, Der at, at Derek Sheen on Twitter, at Derek Sheen 666 on Instagram. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me at Derek Sheen Rules. You can actually sign up and I'll talk to you online. Also, that's where all my concert dates are. Yeah, I'm Dante Barnett, spelled Duante Barnett. Find me on YouTube. Uh, actually, find me on my birthday next week because I got a shitty birthday just like Derek. I'll be performing <laughs> on the 14th at the company store in White Center. Come check out some good comedy I'm featuring there. I'm always at Jai Tai, Tacoma Comedy Club, The Parlor, so on and so forth. Yeah, um, I'm Mayorito, and you can find stuff about me and my production company, Space Dragon Entertainment, on Facebook and, you and Instagram and YouTube. And I'm Silas Lindenstein. You can find me at uh, on Twitter at, at Silas L, Instagram Silas Laughs, um, or uh, go to blackandahalf.com. Awesome. My name is uh, Ted, a.k.a. Ted's Friends. You can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ted's Friends, or on Twitter at twitch, or <laughs> twitch.tv again, uh, <laughs> twitter.com slash Friends of Ted. And I am The Mike Robles, both on Twitch and on Twitter. Thank you, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>